This could be a decisive moment for the latest armed group to emerge in northern Mali. Created after the French-led invasion in January, the Islamic movement of Azawad is keeping busy. Its fighters are here patrolling outside the city of Kidal, under the leadership of this powerful tribal chief. Sheikh Osa is a veteran of Arab-Israeli wars in Lebanon and a former leader of several armed movements in northern Mali. He co-founded the group Ansar al-Din and helped defeat the Malian army, which was forced to withdraw from the north early last year. But Ansar al-Din fighters have suffered considerably in the current conflict because of being linked to al-Qaeda. So Sheikh Osa decided to distance himself. What made us change our name from Ansar al-Din to the Islamic movement of Azawad is that the world had begun to wage war on Ansar al-Din as part of al-Qaeda. In fact, we have no problem with the outside world. Our war is against Mali. We're not terrorists, but Mali would like to describe us as such and get the world to attack us in the name of the war on terrorism. Sheikh Ousa and his men now control Kidal, one of northern Mali's three major cities. They are coordinating with the National Movement for the Liberation of Azawad, that's known as the MNLA. Both groups are dominated by ethnic Tuareg, but they differ in ideology. The MNLA is a nationalist secular movement that wants independence from Mali. The Islamic movement of Azawad, on the other hand, combines nationalism and religion in its political agenda. Like the MNLA, it wants independence, but like Ansar al-Din, it wants the new state to be ruled by Islamic law. But more urgent than either of those two goals is the present need to defend the little bit of territory remaining under Tuareg control in the north. Kidal is the only major city they still hold, and is in a high state of alert. Information coming from the south indicates that Mali's army possibly supported by soldiers from other West African nations, is preparing for a major offensive to recapture the city. Sheikh Osa is revered here for never having lost a battle. But if a coalition of African armies trained and equipped by European countries marches on Kidal, Osa is probably going to be faced with his greatest challenge, one that could easily jeopardize the future of his nascent movement. Mohamed Val, Al Jazeera, Kidal.